channel. Jessica here from Aqua Girl Talks. Today I'm going to be doing a very quick breakdown of all the foods that I feed my goldfish. It's one of the number one questions that I get asked and I have a little bit of time right now and I would love to go over everything in its entirety. Um, it'll be a rather quick video because I need to get everything back into the refrigerator and freezer where it came from. So stay tuned. Okay, so I'm going to be going over the goldfish food in order from what I use the most to what I use the least. So first of all, my staple food, live California black worms. I get these from my fish stores in Sacramento, California. All of the fish stores carry live California black worms in my town. Uh, the other store that carries them that's a chain pet store that I know of is Pet Club. I think that Petco and PetSmart carry frozen blood worms, which is a great alternative if you cannot get your hands on live black blood tubiflex worms. So these are what I feed every single day, as, I mean all the time. So let's see if I can show you. They're just, I rinse them out. I keep them in here just like this. I have a lid with a hole and I have the water just barely covering them. I buy them um, 10 ounces at a time. I have a bunch of goldfish fry right now and I actually traded my Starbucks habit um, of my $5 a day cold brew black iced coffee. $5. Um, I traded it to buy five ounces of live worms every day so that I can continue to afford feeding my goldfish fry this high quality food. It's my number one. So live California black worms. The next thing that I feed most often are frozen food varieties. Um, Hikari um, is the main one that I feed. I normally have a lot more than this, but I just, you know, decided to make this video and I hadn't planned on it at the beginning of today. And we usually go to the LFS and restock our frozen foods on my days off. So we'll be going on Wednesday and getting um, restocking. So right now I have gone through all of the other foods, but I have the uh, spirulina brine shrimp and I have uh, mysis shrimp. And then I have the freshwater multi-pack. Um, the other things that I feed the fry of the frozen variety are frozen daphnia, frozen cyclops. For their first five weeks of life, I hatched brine eggs. So I was hatching live baby brine um, around the clock in two hatcheries. Um, I did keep frozen baby brine shrimp on hand just in case one of my hatcheries failed to hatch. Uh, thankfully that didn't happen. Um, I also feed, um, there's an omega infused brine shrimp. There's just regular brine shrimp all frozen and um, emerald entree, there's some algae, uh, algae mixes that I feed the freshwater fish that come in like gel cubes that are frozen. So I kind of just see what they have and I rotate it all every time I go and buy so that the fish are getting a large variety of frozen food in addition to everything else. So the next thing that I feed are steamed peas. So these are just frozen uh, peas that I get from just the grocery store. I steam them in, like well, I boil them in water for like four minutes and then I just put them in a little container in the fridge and I pop them out of their shell like as I'm feeding them to the goldfish. So I feed peas. Um, edamame, shelled edamame. This, I don't feed that often but I wanted to include it in the video because I'm going to start feeding it to my fry because they thrive when they're really young. I mean, and in general, but when they're young, it's important that they have a high protein rich diet. So edamame is really high in protein, vegans. Um, so I'm going to make this for the fry mainly. Um, I feed the adult goldfish, the peas, more often just to give their guts kind of a break from digesting high protein. But with the fry, I would love to uh, give them the greens, enhance their diet with the greens while still containing protein. So I'm going to cook up this edamame for them and incorporate it into their diet. Um, let's see, lastly, or actually, um, 
steamed eggs. I know this seems weird on my Instagram. People are like, what? What is that? It's eggs. And my husband makes it, so he's not here for this video, but he has mastered how to make steamed eggs. And I believe this is just two eggs and they are steamed. He found it on YouTube and followed the recipe. It has garlic in it is the only additive. So I feed this mainly as a fry food. Sometimes if I'm in here, I'll just throw it in the adult tanks. It's great for everyone. I just mainly feed it as a staple for my fry. I hadn't ever fed eggs prior to having goldfish fry. So it's a nice little um, treat for my adults when they haven't, they haven't experienced uh, steamed eggs in their life with me so far. So the eggs, um, it's, it's solid. It's like jello. I mean, it's not even like jello. It's just super, um, stuck in this bowl. Anyway, so I just kind of scoop it out with a spoon and I, I, you can feed it a lot of ways. I'm sure I change the water in these tanks every 12 hours. So I'm not worried about polluting the tank. So I take spoonfuls, like almost like ice cube size. And I put like one on each side of the, of the fry tank and they just all come at it in piles and they just devour it. Um, that's how I have been feeding it. They break it up into little pieces with their mouths and it just kind of like ends up serving everyone. And by the time I get home from work, um, there isn't a scrap left. The only reason I know they ate it is because they poop white. <laughs> so um, the last thing that is a, is a staple in my fry diet or will become one as they get larger and I, I can't afford to keep feeding them only the live worms and the frozen uh, protein rich foods is Rapashi Super Gold Gel Food. I just got this in the mail today. I stocked up. I have two big tubs here from Dandy Aranda's. So thank you, Ken, um, for shipping these out so timely. Um, very excited to uh, to have them and make them. I have had Rapashi in my cabinet in the smaller size that I bought from the website. And um, actually they lasted me up until now. Like we just made the last of it and it's been a year and a half. And that's because um, like I said, going in order from what I feed the most to least, I do feed Rapashi the least only because I keep such a low overall um, stock of my adult goldfish that I can feed them just these, you know, raw foods. So I don't need Rapashi as often. I have supplemented their diet, obviously, because I've gone through the smaller tubs in the year and a half I've had goldfish. I just feed it less. So, um, the, uh, super gold is, uh, my husband's going to be making this a lot more often because my fry are going to get, uh, considerably larger. Uh, and I'm going to need to, um, to be able to afford to keep them all into adulthood because I would ideally it's, it's another topic for another video. I would like to keep them until this time next year until I sell them. So, in order to grow them in an affordable fashion, I am going to be using uh, Rapashi as a staple in their diet, in addition to the other foods. But um, we make it, my husband makes it, and uh, he makes it in little glass dishes, and you just add hot water to the formula, and it comes out, I mean, a little thicker than like a jello consistency. He cuts it up in cubes for me, and, um, and we freeze it. And then, let's see, so it's just in little cubes. So I defrost this in a little Tupperware thing. And then when it's defrosted, I cut it up into bite-sized pieces for either the fry or the adults I'm feeding. So um, Rapashi is fantastic. And if you do decide to order it, um, I'm not sponsored. The only reason that I mention this is just because it is available on Amazon and I would, uh, encourage you to support Ken Fisher of Dandy Aranda's and order it from his website instead of uh, Amazon and you won't be getting a better price on Amazon anyway so uh, Dandy Aranda's Rapashi if you're going to go with that so um, the last two things um, I don't feed any dry food I don't feed pellets I don't feed flakes I never have um, I just this this is what I feed and I, I'm, I'm super stand behind it and I super stand behind moisture content in fish food. They are a wet pet. I think they have no business eating a, a dry composed food at all, period. Um, so I won't really
really say too much more about that, but I will say the exception is when I am medicating. Uh, New Life Spectrum makes Hex Shield, and it is a antiparasitic medication. It is a pellet dry food. So I do, I do feed this to imported goldfish that I bring into the fish room during their three months of quarantine. It's a three day to a day medication. So I do, and I, I honestly, I usually soak it in garlic for a, for about 10 minutes before I actually feed it. So at least it's got more moisture before going into the fish. So that is an exception. And on the topic of medication, we have a, a local friend and hobbyist on Instagram that makes his own food, uh, Jaffe's Fishies. So he sent me this a couple months ago. Um, I'm drawn to it because it has the cutest art that his wife um, designs for all of his uh, food. So I have this around um, in case I need to bind medication, like an antibacterial powder medication. I can bind it to a dry food in a pinch. I would mix it with a Seachem Focus, which is a uh, powder, it's non-medicated, it's just a powder that you would mix with uh, either the food that you're binding the medication to. Um, I would mix the focus with uh, garlic, the food, and the powdered medication, and the focus binds the medication to the food so that when you put it into the water, the medication just doesn't disperse off of the food itself. It ha is compact into the food. So I have this um, Jaffe's Fish Food Insect Select on deck in case I need it in a pinch to medicate a fish. So there are other ways to, before I had that uh, as a backup for medication, I did bind the uh, antibiotics to my frozen food. I have bound it to the live worms and I could certainly, uh, the word isn't bake, but I could incorporate it into a batch of rapashi. So um, you have a couple of options, but I did just want to mention that it wouldn't hurt to keep a dry food around to to bind a medication to if you needed to. So that is my choice for for that purpose. So thanks for supplying that uh, Jasper and um, and his wife for um, the QR. I just love having it in my fish room in general. It's great. So I will go ahead and include his uh, Instagram. In, and as well as Dandy Aranda's website in the uh, description below. So I think that about sums it up. I feed my adult goldfish usually twice a day. I feed them a little bit more right now just because I'm in here so often feeding the fry. So they get little extra snacks every once in a while. I try to give them a break um, at least once a week from, from the protein and that's when I would feed them my adult goldfish, the peas. Sometimes I do fast them for one day a week, um, just to let everything pass through the system and give the body a break. Um, because that's something that I practice in my own health is, um, is fasting. So I think it's beneficial for, for the fish as well, just to have a little time to digest and, um, and let the system rest. So I suppose that kind of concludes it. Um, I hope that that was informative and that answered your questions and I can certainly make another video on food um, and maybe make a video on on how to make steamed eggs or how to make a batch of rapashi. But for now, um, this is everything I feed and everything has gone just fantastic for the last year and a half that I've kept goldfish. So um, I'm, I'm a firm believer in, in wet food and moisture for wet pets. So I encourage you um, to incorporate uh, one or more of these, um, even if you are feeding dry food, in, in addition to maybe you could supplement the fish every once in a while with, with one of these options if you don't already. So anyway, thanks for watching and um, until next time, take care.